My name is Dr. Chetan Ginigiri. I'm a children's ICU specialist working in Bangalore. And in our ICUs, almost 30 to 40 percent of our work is treating children who have put themselves in danger, children who have fallen down from balconies, drowned in swimming pools, electrocuted in our homes, having consumed corrosive poisons and other dangerous things like button batteries or having bitten by snakes and scorpions. These are all children who would have been playing one second and fighting death another. No other disease in mankind is killing as many normal children as much as accidents. The sad part is 90% of these accidents are easily preventable. Childhood accidents are predictable and preventable. Child safety is not our choice, it is a responsibility. We owe it to the generations of the future. Let's make this world child safe. Children love water and water bodies. They can see their own reflection in the water. They like the wetness and the splashiness of water. But then water and especially bathrooms are a common source of accidents in early childhood. So we always prepare mothers to take adequate precautions when they are going to, take, to give a bath to a small child. One is that take everything that you need for the baby's bath, be it soap, shampoo, towels, dresses, whatever you need. You cannot leave the baby in the bathroom alone and go back to retrieve those things. Do adequate preparation for the baby's bath. Never answer a doorbell or a mobile while you are giving the bath to the baby. The bathing should always finish uninterrupted. A bathtub or a 50 litre bucket is an extremely stable structure wherein baby can slip into it and drown. Bucket drownings is one of the commonest cause of drownings world over today. Children less than 8 years always should not have free access to the bathroom. It should be latched and locked. And whenever you use water storage devices like buckets and drums within the bathroom, in a family where there are children around, always put a lid on top of that so that children don't have avenues to play with water and then hurt themselves either by a slip or a fall or even worse, sometimes drowning.